Opportunity for Chelsea to get themselves in front right at the end of the first half. Well, it was slack marking from Hansen, who let Perise get away from her. Hit to score for Chelsea and passes up the chance to open her account there. And it is the last action of the half which is ebbed and flowed, Chelsea having the better of it to begin with, but Villa, to their credit, have got right back into the equation and nothing to separate them at the interval, which is really a fair reflection. Half-time, Aston Villa nil, Chelsea nil. Chelsea get the second half underway then. Nil-nil between these two sides. Chelsea have enjoyed a brilliant record against Villa. They've won all of the ten previous meetings, and they've hit the post here. Almost off to a flyer in the second half, and it's Elena Chankovic who scored here in the WSL, who's gone close. Reitens ball in. Chankovic did so well to fashion the chance from that angle and is unlucky inches away from giving Chelsea the advantage Throw taken by Ed Perisen. That's more up than out. Cuthbert tried to control, was unable to do so, but it's up to win it back. Now James. Guru Wrighton. Lovely stuff. Well, you could see what Wright was up to, but managed to measure the pass towards Sam Kerr. Well, this was such a good attempt by Chankovic on the half volley. Nowhere near it, Hampton, understandably so, because it was such a good attempt. Mightily unfortunate. Low pulse. Carter. Oh, that was a chunky collision. Extra time and penalties the menu if uh, they can't be separated after the 90 minutes Chelsea definitely not playing at their highest level which has given Villa a chance but they're always capable of turning it on and they look a bit more with it early on in this second half and they've got a free kick here because Perise has been bundled over. Dali doing the complaining on Pacheco's behalf here. It's Pacheco a mailing that have uh, helped Villa going forwards as they've got a foothold in the game, but doing her defensive duties there, Maz Pacheco, she's given away this free kick.
Good ball and well gathered by Hampton. Fully behind it there, Hampton. But Chelsea look like they've got a bit more intensity at the start of this second half. Here come Villa, though. Dali. Mailing. Tricky. Mitrovic was backpedalling. Not sure if Mailing was going for goal or looking to find a teammate. Either way, it proved a nervy moment for the Chelsea keeper. Only goal this season came in the FA Cup for Sarah Mailing. It was a penalty in the 11 0 home success over Fylde in January. Getting up and Cuthbert maybe leaving something in there because Stanforth is uh, in a spot of bother here. I don't think the referee saw it as uh, anything untoward from Cuthbert. Straight back. Patton. Nicely laid off by Chankovic and got that all wrong. Melanie Loipods. Missing that uh, really nasty facial injury, injury from the Champions League. She's got the face mask on and Mays might have been pleased with the opening minutes of this second half but been able to sustain 